I was a shy, introverted kid. They wanted me to get on stage. They wanted me to answer. The teacher would just simply ask me to ask, answer a question. And if there was an opportunity for me to get out of it, I was like, uh, I would respectfully decline if there was an opportunity for me. And I was back at home. I was young. And I remember having that TV with the hanger for the antenna. We had to get up and turn the channel in, so some of you guys don't know. I had to have wire pliers. Some of y'all remember them wire pliers? Yet? Yeah, I, I, I was there. I was there. But I was up late. Probably should have my button there, but I was up late. This show called Night Tracks came on. It's a group called Run DMC. And they had a song called Rock Box. Tall, you sucky MCs perpetrating the fraud. Your eyes are cold, wet. Keep the car. I was like, whoa. Life had changed. I was a basketball player. I was a football player. That's what I was doing. That was what defined me. I was little. I was short. I was a shorty. And so I went to my daddy after I seen that Run DMC video. I was like, daddy, 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 I, I want to be a rapper. I want some music equipment. He said, but you play basketball. I said, I'm short, though. He said, but you play football. I said, but I'm short, though. And you know I was running that football the other day, and that dude blindsided me and knocked all my air. I don't want to play football no more. <laughs> I was done. But I had to have something to transfer to. We never quit without having another option. So he got my equipment. He got me that music equipment, right? And I started writing my raps. They were the king of rock. I was the king of rap. Whatever they did, I would rewrite and make my own. Nothing original. <laughs> Nothing original. But I was excited. But I was shy, so I was just doing it at home. Only people knew I was making music was my friends. Nobody else. Ninth grade year, guy comes over my house, Ernest Walker. Everybody needs an Ernest Walker in their life. Somebody that believes in them more than they believe in themselves. Knocked on my door. Hey, 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 friend. You got a talent show up and claim. You want to be in it with me? I'm talking about get them in front of, on the stage and, and, and rap in front of people? Uh, that's a hard no. It's a hard pass. <laughs> Speaking of no, some of you guys need to say no to certain people in your life. Let me introduce you to your new favorite word, no. Because you know, y'all are financial advisors, so they're finance. They, they, people that only hear is finance. Financial, that means you must have some money. She must have some money. Watch out. It's called Uncle Tony. It's called Aunt, Aunt Joyce for the money, no. Well, you can help out. You know, you can help out some, but you know how people, you know how we. They think you got a little money. They call me every day. And people will use and abuse you and won't think nothing of it. So sometimes you have to say no to the things you need to say no to. But I was saying no to the wrong thing because deep down inside I wanted to do it. This dude was persistent though. 14 days straight, he came over to my house. Boom, 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 boom. Day one, no. Day two, no. Day three, no. Day 10, no. Day 11, no. Day 12, no. Day 13, no. Day 14, mm. Day 14, one of the most important days of my life. I don't know if it was, he just wore me down. I don't know if I just really decided I wanted to do it, but he came at me a little bit different. He was like, Fred, I ain't came over your house for 14 days straight. You keep saying no. Why don't you stop acting like a little old punk? Did he just come? Punk? I ain't nobody's punk. I'll do it. I said, oh my God, I just committed. And I grabbed the back of my head. Because where I come from and where you come from, when you commit, your word is your bond. We need to make sure that we make sure these youngsters get that too. So I don't know if it's like that as much as it was when we were coming up. But our worry was our bond, so I knew at that moment I had to do it. It's like, you gonna do it? I said, get away from me, man. I said I was gonna do it. And in that moment, I started trying to talk myself out of it, telling myself all the things that I couldn't do, that negative self-talk like we used to do. But all of a sudden, once I made the decision that I was gonna do it, I started talking myself into it, you can do it. And I said, you know what? I ain't going to rewrite a Run DMC rap this time. I'm going to write my own rap. And so I started writing. And I started practicing in the mirror. And I started writing. I started practicing in the mirror. And it wasn't even an actual talent show. It was just the tryouts. It was a crowd about this size. But I promise you, I felt like it was 20,000 people out there. I was scared, but I was prepared. In life, you guys are going to be trying to do things, and you have did things, and you're still doing things. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to have a little anxiety, as long as you're prepared for that moment. And I was prepared. 
and they called my name. I was Rap Master Chill then. <laughs> yeah, I was Rap Master Chill. Rap Master Chill, I got up there. Don't make me laugh, because this is exactly what I think I looked like when I did. The beat came on, and I was like, Zach, same rap I said to. Call me Mr. Chiller, don't call me at all. Because when I'm on the mic, I'm standing tall. I'm five for four, my shorty, when I'm talking to you. But when I'm on the mic, I'm seven two. <laughs> <laughs> and at that moment in time, I really felt like I was seven and two, because everything seven two and everything in my life changed. All the shyness went away. The confidence came. Next day when I was at school, people were like, what's going on, Freddie? What's going on? I'm like, oh, you did not know me yesterday. <laughs> but you find out that once you become somebody, the same guys that used to bully me became my protectors. <laughs>